Hey y'all, it's Betsy and Mom from Happily Ever After, etc. And welcome back to another garden tour. <laughs> so it is July and Mom's garden, she did not go on a trip, so her garden still looks mm. pretty good. Yeah, it's just it's been so hot. It's really hot in Alabama. Oh. We're zone 8B, so July and August Measurable. are the months that A, the garden suffers the most, and B, we're the hottest, so we come out less. Yes, we, um, don't, we don't want to be out to here. do the maintenance that Plus, the garden needs. We were doing a lot of furniture stuff. We did a lot of furniture for our antique booth for uh, about two weeks there, yeah. and so that doesn't help either. But if you caught my garden tour, mom's like super tunias, like they look eight million times better than mine, which look like they are. And they're almost dead and they're not as nearly as beautiful as they were yeah, they're a little scraggly but they've got a lot more blooms than mine do and her uh sweet alyssum has a lot more blooms than mine do yeah. now some of those things will bounce back and bloom a lot more for us once we turn the other side of august, august and it gets cooler again the garden kind of just has a little lull period it's like the calm and the storm for the summer months here but a lot of the layers of mom's garden are coming in really pretty especially right over here and a lot of the little tiny plants just so many cars on her street that you got in that big box where was that from jt gt i don't know. i'll put the name up on the screen we did a whole unboxing and a lot of y'all keep asking Oh, there's a pretty cardinal over there. Um, keep asking how those plants are doing. She bought daylilies, coneflowers, and oh, mums. Wow. So the coneflowers are blooming. Some of the Black Eyed Susans you just recently planted are really going to town. So we're going to give you an update on how everything's doing. And uh, and then we'll go back inside where it's air conditioned. Yes. So yes. let's get started because it's going to take a minute and I don't want to be out here longer than necessary. Yes. So in the old magnolia bed, the new crepe myrtle loquat yes, dogwood. dogwood bed, everything looks pretty good. The Vitex is uh, out, of out of control, gigantic. This is what I'm hoping mine will do. It's twice as big. It is twice as big as the beginning That's of the big. summer and as the one over there. It is, you can see a lot of the blooms are getting spent, but it is still putting That's out a lot of new growth tons of new growth and new blooms then we have some of that saucy wine salvia the big burgundy ones that are really growing in nicely and a very uh, dark different color than you have mm -hmm. a lot of places in the garden yep. and then and the zinnias the tall zinnias planted. we planted those from seed and a wee, Betsy <laughs> they were supposed to be uh small and they are not. They are like three and, a half, three and a half to four feet, maybe. They were supposed to be short two foot max. And they're beautiful, but they're huge. like from this angle, they're a great backdrop. But they're the first thing you see when you pull in from the street. So, I mean, if you were, if you were trying to like put up a screen oh, yeah. so no one could see, you would have a Xenia screen. Maybe that's what we wanted. Mm -hmm. So the uh, crepe myrtle is in full bloom and it's going out of bloom actually, of bloom. but oh, it's, right. it's a very pretty color. It's kind of funny because you picked it for the purple because you typically don't have a lot of purple in your garden. And this whole bed is almost all purples. Pink and purple, yeah. Yes. This, we can call this the Betsy bed because yeah, it it, it's pretty much all the things from my house that you liked and put in your garden. So the super tunias, the gumfrina, you've got a butterfly bush here. The uh, bee balm, my bee balm is doing really well, but it hasn't put out a single bloom. And yours has tons of blooms. So, but you can see the ends of all these little plants, the same with mine, like these will all be blooms eventually. Yes. So mine will still bloom. Mm -hmm. They're just not, there yet. We do set the weed over here. I haven't yes. Weed and you know, sometimes in the hot months, you just can't do everything. Nope. That's okay. 
your white Gara looks really pretty there. It's not a blooming as much as it was, but it's still a really good height. Yeah. So hopefully it will bloom some more this fall. The fox about bloomed and the foxgloves are just about done, but they're very pretty. And hopefully they will get bigger and better for next year. All these weeds need to go, but yes. you can see the, uh, the buttercups, these yellows. These are supposed to get really big. Here's That's one of them. Like four, feet tall. four feet. And so that will be another Let's see if they come big back. screen. They're supposed to come back, but we've never planted them before. And this one got, he needs to be cut back. I have cut yeah. him back three times. He loves his spot and he just keeps keep going. going. Yeah. So, yep. Yeah. Now, the, uh, the containers we planted with the super bells. The super bells really didn't even stand a chance because this it's lantana is just out of control. Now you could probably cut him way back and yeah. he'd still be fine. Yeah. But yeah, the super bells, they he's blooming. Kinda, there's, a little there's a little bit of the super bells, but and all just, my moms, I cut them back and they're starting to come back. Yes. And all those buds. So, I mean, you might even want to cut them back one more time so that they'll bloom in the fall and not right now. Right. So here's some more here's some more zinnias. These we had planted in the milk jugs. Um, you're, you're backwards, mom. I'm sorry. <laughs> These we planted in the milk jugs and then plant out there the exact same kind as the other ones. We just were hoping to get a jump start on them, but only like two of the ones from the milk jugs survived. So we did uh, put some more seeds out when I seeded the other patch and they're beautiful, but they were just supposed to be this little short accent oh, yeah, at the front of the garden and they're huge. They. So they probably, if we plant this variety again, they need to be in the, in the middle of the garden or on the very back. Yes. So now we've got some of the Veronica, which probably needs to be cut back soon, but it's doing well. Vinca, Catmint, Black Eyed Susan, which is all doing really well. And then here are some of the Bare Root Daylily. Daylily. So these are some of the ones we planted out of that box. And these you, are actually the worst looking. The ones yes, over here as I say, better. these ones are pretty good size. Put your hand on there so they can see how big they are. See, they're yeah. at four, and, five, six inches maybe? And they all bloom. I yes. got blooms off of them. So, you can see there's a bloom stock on there. Right yeah. here. Like these, they all had little blooms. And so next year they will only be bigger and better. But that's pretty impressive for, you know, year one. Those, those zinnias. They're very pretty, but they're just out of control. I mean, there's a super tunia there. There's iris, walking lilies. We probably need to come in and cut some of the middle because there's a catmint in here that is just getting completely eaten. And these zinnias are annuals, whereas that catmint should come back. So I would cut some of the zinnias away from that catmint so it doesn't die. Yeah, that's but they're very pretty. You could come out and pick a whole pink zinnia bouquet and still have plenty. Um, so there you go. Let's go ahead and pop up to the front of and the I porch. These, um, oh, mom's not done talking. Mom's too. Yes. So they're going to bloom. I'm going to go into this thing, I think, and cut some of these bottom branches off to limb it up a little bit because I want it to be more of a taller tree. So what she's saying is she did cut back these mums and they're starting to bud up, but she's going to cut back some of this bottom part of the vitex so it's more of a tree and less of a bush. So that's the goal. Well, I didn't think it would get crazy Hey mom, like this. you got to face the camera I didn't when you think talk. It would go so crazy. No, it just really likes its spot and yeah. I mean vitex if they really like their spot can get up to 25 to 30 feet yeah. tall and wide. And I think this one will. So Let's head up this way. Here's mom's little hedgehogs. We got these in Germany. I gotta find a new place for them. Really They're cute. really cute there, but yeah, you don't see them as well. So what do you have over here, mom? I have the April night salvia. 
if they're going to come in and cut. I have cut it back like four times this year, and it just blooms over and over. Mine is not doing nearly as well, but I planted mine later than yours, so I'm hoping it'll do better next year. And then plantain, I have a butterfly bush. Now here is... Oh, you got a cornflower with a... Is that a cicada shell? I think you are right. Yeah. I hate those things. And I got some cornflowers in here, and I'm going to have to... Unearth them. This one is not doing very well. It's not, it's not even well. attached. Yeah, it's, it's looking bad. <laughs> but these are some of the coneflowers from that same box. So they're doing really well. They just are, uh, they're kind of getting crowded. Now, the hummingbird that I picked up is a sister to this one. And mom's not sure if she's going to leave it there. But it's, it's different than mine different colors, different design, and it sits more straight up and down than mine, yeah. which mom liked. It's very fun. Yeah, it is. You've got butterfly bush, and then the black-eyed Susans I'm back in it. here are amazing. That was a really good layer. Even with the yellow lantana, you get a different look because of that dark black dark blue black. eye or dark black eye and the foliage so I mean there's nothing wrong with having multiples of the same color even in the same area yeah. but you just want it to be you wouldn't necessarily want a yellow lantana next to a yellow and pink lantana yeah. you know you want a little bit of a difference in height or texture or something I'm melting well yeah and then over here... This is, hydrangea needs cut back, yeah. uh, or deadheaded, really. Deadheaded, yeah. Here's and then... I put some of those other... Little daylilies. Hey, look, here's a really nice one. Look how pretty he is. Yes, and so and you can one, see the difference between the, the new bare root ones and the plants that you planted last year. Oh, yeah. And so them. by next year, these bare root ones should be almost, that almost size. this size. Yeah. Whereas these will keep spreading. Yeah, they will. But Mon loves these daylilies, and the goal is to just have a whole, you know, whole swath, swath of them right here. They will grow together mm -hmm. and be really pretty. Yep. So, on the other side of the porch, of course, we have those little supertunias, which are needing a little bit of a haircut. A lot of times, supertunias need a haircut halfway through the season. Yeah. And then we've got. And I went in and cut back some of this um, lantana because it's just... The lantana gets out of control here. It does. But, but look how pretty this is one of the bare roots. Yep. He's huge. That's eight or nine inches. He's big. I got that one there, that one here, and this one right here. Here's the third one. I love that little fairy. If that goes missing, don't look at my house. And then your hydrangea right here is uh, putting out new flowers. Yeah, purple and purplish pink. Yeah, so these are the Endless Summer original hydrangea, which is the original big blue mop heads. They're supposed to stay blue, but you do have to put a soil acidifier in your soil if you don't have naturally acidic soil, which we don't. We've put it out once this summer. Yeah, we should have done. We spring. should have done it in the spring and then halfway through the summer. And uh, so while she does have some blue from the soil acidifier, they're not enough, they're not enough because we just didn't do enough. That's and that's our fault. The, the, the mums I planted are back there. See them? All right around that glad. Yes. So those are also from the box. The box, yes. If you watch that video. And these guys, I cut them back to two feet. I want my guard to look like that so bad, and it looks beautiful here. And mine is just yeah, and he's just starting to get more floppy mess. So I cut all my daisies back. They just pooped. Shasta out. daisies, yeah, pooped. And she's really got more of that April night salvia. It doesn't like this area as well as no. And then the petunias aren't loving this side as much as the other side. Yeah. But she's still working on this side a lot more than the other side. You can see her husses are starting to come up. Where are your lupins? Lupins are finally gone. Did they, they ever do anything? They didn't do anything, but the heat just... Yeah. The heat just killed them. 
I'm hoping they'll come. Hopefully they'll come back because there are still uh, leaves back there, just very tiny ones. And some, uh, peonies. Peonies, and I don't know. I have three of those. Here. These zinnias are doing really well. They also were supposed to be small, and it doesn't make any sense because we've bought small zinnia varieties from the store. Yeah. But so far, every single small seed package that says it's supposed to stay small just does this. They just get three feet tall. So we just, I guess, need to know that zinnias from seeds are going to get tall. And then she did plant a new knockout rose back there, which is a, a standard. Hopefully it'll get a little taller and keep it in a ball shape. You're going to have to come help me shape mine up to be more lollipops because... <coughs> They're getting it out of control, and I'm scared to do it. Yeah, this guy does not like in his spot bird. What were you saying? This guy is not liking his spot bird. Yeah, he is on the struggle bus for sure. So that's a little Japanese maple, but it's really hot right now. So hopefully he will bounce back. It's hard to say. And we've got an azalea and the planter and her... Agapanthus, and this is one of the ones that blooms all spring, all summer, and it's put out two bloom stalks. Yep. So, hopefully, I think that's all we'll have this year. We just planted them this year. Mine only had one, so two is still good. And then we'll see once it's more established what it does next year. I mean, I got zero blooms off of the other Agapanthus that I have that we oh, transplanted really? from your house. Yeah, and I those have been planted good. for two years, three almost three years here, two years at my house, and still haven't gotten a single bloom. So one or two is still pretty good. Then we have the this woodland one, area. My uh, died. That yep. one died. Just... That one straight up died. Coneflowers struggling a little bit. Um, Gonfrina's loving its life. Yep. And then... I think that's a big weed back there. I think it is. I think I need to go back. And yeah. That, bad boy that big weed is over the uh, oak leaf hydrangea, which is normally pretty big, but it's being dwarfed by the weed. And then we've got, you can see some milkweed back in yeah, here that's doing, okay. doing perfectly fine. So all of this weed needs to come out yeah. and that will help. But this whole bank between mom's house and the neighbors is old beautiful azaleas and camellias and weeds so knockout roses more daylilies you can see she's just trying to weed her uh, peggy martin rose needs staking up. staking up you haven't staked it up once all summer i did stake it up and it fell down i think it got uh -huh. too heavy and then this is the same the vitex tree yes just like the one over there but it it is so much smaller. It is smaller. Now, it is It is not as old as the other one. Nope. But They're it's... Planted at the same time. No, we moved this one when we moved the magnolia stuff. Oh, okay. So this one was only... It's only like five months younger than the other one. I it was the same size. It's not. It was not. The other one stayed put. This one was in its bucket. Yeah. So, you know, this side... Need some, I need some TLC, but that's okay. It'll get there. Everything is not a race. Um, Biddy says my brick road is looking sad. Yeah, mom needs to work on this path, huh, Biddy? Yep. The dogs just love walking on the path, even when it is just laid out. She hasn't chiseled this or put it in place at all the way she has over here. Yeah. But I have the shape I want. Yes, it's the right shape. Betty doesn't seem to care. That's pretty much it. So that is it. I am sure that more weeding will happen. More plants will die. More plants will bounce back, especially, like I said, as the heat of the summer kind of comes to an end. But it is, what, July 28th yeah, right now? We're almost So we're, we're halfway through the heat. Yes. We will start getting the downside of it's the heat. Already, it's already, the sun is going down earlier. Yes. And but it's still 100 it's degrees. It's been like 95, 96 to 100 degrees every day. Like I usually try to come out between 5, 6, 7 o'clock at night 
to work in the shade of the evening, it's still 98 degrees at seven o'clock so at night. Hot. It's yeah. still hot. Like it's yeah. just never getting cool unless you come out in the dark with a headlamp. And I don't love my plants that much. Maybe first thing in the morning, but even at eight o'clock in the morning, seven in the morning. I get up first thing in the morning and come out is the coolest time. And you can usually get about 70 to 80 degrees if you come out at seven or eight in the morning. I'm more likely to come out at nine but that's still 80 degrees instead of 95. So it is what it is. We will let you know in August how things are faring. But for today, we've got another coat we're doing on a little table. We're doing a chessboard uh, stencil. If you want to check that out, we did it with my Cricut. We're going to go do a second coat. Don't worry in the heat. The paint is drying super fast. And then we are done for the day. So we will catch y'all in the next video. Bye.